Hey, Chris. Eldora, hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. A little bit cold, but okay. Well, that's London for you. <laughs> do you have a minute? I have a few questions for you. Uh, do you mind if we walk and talk? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so, Chris, I know you're the director of content and you joined Verif not too long ago. What's been your favorite thing so far? Uh, definitely the team I've got. They are super talented and the work they create is uh, always exceptional. Wow, sounds like you hit the jackpot. So what problem is your team solving right now? We are solving a multitude of problems, actually. I think the, the good thing about content is that it underpins everything we do from a marketing uh, perspective. So it uh, really is our sort of demand gen campaigns all the way through to our targeted ABM activity and uh, really sort of connecting with customers is, is the sort of the, the overall driver. But how that works is uh, different in a number of different ways. Yeah, well, you know what they say, content is everything. Okay, um, finish the phrase. Verif's culture is unique because? Verif's culture is unique because of the freedom you get. Uh, I've not worked anywhere else where you have that um, level of uh, personal responsibility to, to deliver, obviously, but also that you're trusted to, to do the things that you can do. Yeah, trust is very deeply rooted in Verif's culture. What motivates you the most, Chris? Uh, what most makes me nice? That's a really good question. Um, I think it's it's getting the best out of people, bringing the best out of people. Like having a having a team is is really really important to me, uh, and having sort of young talent working with me and developing them and seeing seeing them reach their potential is really what it's all about for me. I love that. For me too. The people are motivating. Um, what was your first job? My first job was <laughs> oh, my first job was a uh, was actually cleaning lettuce at a factory which uh obviously the lettuce was picked elsewhere it was sort of a sort of processing thing so i remember sort of just standing there watching a conveyor belt of lettuce fly by me and having to sort of pick off uh caterpillars and little bugs and things like that <laughs> how far we've come <laughs> how old were you uh this is when i was in, i was a teenager so it was kind of in between sort of school holidays and things like that <laughs> nice okay let's get more personal what is your life philosophy uh, my life philosophy is, is not to take anything ever too seriously. Uh, there's pr problems and, uh, and issues always seem like a massive deal when you're first in them. Um, but, uh, but they very rarely are as big as you make them out to be. And uh, you can quite often overcome things just by taking a step back uh, and realizing that things are never really as important as you think they are. That's deep. Thank you. Yeah, I think we all needed to hear that. Okay, so Chris. How do you de-stress? Uh, a number of different ways, actually. So I, I tend to, uh, sport's very important to me and uh, staying active and getting outdoors. Uh, but mostly, I think in, in recent years, it's been with spending time with my pets, with my dog and my cat. Aww, animal therapy is a real thing. A lot of people at Verif have dogs. Maybe I should get one. All right, what was the best career advice you've ever gotten? Uh, best career advice I've ever gotten? That's a really good question. Uh, is, oh, well, I guess it's, it's, it really comes down to sort of belief, I suppose. And uh, the, the, the best advice I've had is just to, uh, just to, never, just to never doubt yourself. If, you, if there's something that you suspect that you want to do, uh, you suspect that you'll be good at, just try it and find out for yourself. Never, never really be put off by what somebody else tells you to do. Um, just go for it. Just go for it. That's some wise words, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a harder question. Why did you choose Verif? Uh, what made me choose Verif was a combination of the, the, the culture and then how that was sort of uh, spoken about by the people that I met in the, in the interview process. So the, the idea of it uh, as a company is something that very much appeals to me, but also uh, the, what it stands for and what it means to those people working within it is really, really important as well. And uh, it's been more than validated since, since, since joining as well. Yeah, I can testify to that too. People are very passionate here. <laughs> Um, so what is one thing you wish you enjoyed more of? Sunshine, definitely, Def definitely sunshine. I think it's, uh, I'm very much a summer person. So it's, um, uh, it's one of those things, I don't do well in cold at all. <laughs> so more sunshine the better for me. Yeah, vitamin D is a real thing. Um, Chris, what was your last Google search? Work related, actually. I, I literally just did, I've typed in around some uh, best practice on uh, ebook presentation, <laughs> which <laughs> makes me sound incredibly boring. <laughs> but that's genuinely true. That is just what I, what I typed in about uh, before we started this conversation. Okay, if you could devote the rest of your life to a philanthropy, what cause would you choose? Oh, that's a really good one. I think I would link this back to my, having recently got my first dog, I would say that, uh, that I really like, uh, really like um, animals generally, but, but uh, dogs specifically have got uh, a little place in my heart now. So helping them where possible would be my, my, my life dream. What breed is your dog? 
uh, Boston Terrier. Ah, cute. Um, what do you wish you learned sooner? Oh, I think this is probably just a repetition of something I said earlier on, actually. But I do, I do uh, feel like not taking things too seriously is something that I wish I'd, I'd, I'd had that information when I was younger, for sure. It feels like uh, when you're younger, things carry a lot more weight. And uh, I wish someone told me they don't. But hey, now you're that someone. Okay, Sundays are my favorite day of the week. What does your Sundays look like? Sunday is very relaxing and uh, not much happening at all, actually, in these people's way. Uh, not much happening at all. We, uh, I'm very, very close to, to uh, uh, the countryside where I live. So we're spending a lot of time outdoors, dog walking primarily. Uh, and that's kind, of, that's kind of it. There's nothing too strenuous happening, that's for sure. Honestly, that sounds so peaceful. It sets you up for a good Monday. It certainly does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this will be the last question. What is one thing you learned in your time with Barif? Oh, what's one thing I've learned? Uh, I think it's actually, it's probably a technical point actually, but it's, um, it's just the importance of, uh, of online verification because it's, uh, it's one of those things that kind of exists in the background of most people's lives if they don't work in this industry. And so how, how much, how deeply it cuts across so many aspects of our society is something I de definitely didn't realize before joining. And, uh, and that's been something that I've, I think has been the, the main learning for me. Oh yeah, keeping our identity safe online is um, very important. It and, is. And the need for that is definitely increasing. Oh, oh totally. And, I, and when I talk about what, you know, who I'm working for now and what I do to, to people who don't know, uh, they are constantly raising new things of, of think, you know, where they've come across it. They, you know, opening a bank account is the obvious one, but there are so many others. They think, well, why don't they use it here? And why don't they use it in, you know, for verifying social media accounts and all that kind of stuff. It just seems to be something that is in a lot of people's minds. And um, yeah. As I say, I didn't, didn't realize it cuts across so many so many areas as it actually does. Okay, Chris, thank you so much for your time. I think I've asked you enough for questions sure. yeah. and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>